<laughs> Another man.
Over half our trained samurai are wounded, and our Shikigami losses are far greater than anticipated. Besides, the outside situation is beginning to stabilize. Do we really need to keep pursuing this ultimate attainment? Why so apprehensive? This is all within my expectation. Harunosuke, forgive my directness, but she's not coming back. All I ever wanted was to assist her descendants and guard this territory. 
now that our targets no longer exist, and those needing our protection are finally safe, then perhaps our sworn mission has indeed come to an end. I always believed that I would stand guard in this place forever, if time permitted. I almost fooled myself with such a notion. I hope you never make the same mistake. Don't worry, Haranosuke. I know everything that you've done for Inazuma. Your efforts need not be judged by others. The same goes for my existence. <laughs> Bestowing you with intelligence that you should know human emotion, it would seem this was the right decision. In the end, it is you that have enlightened me. Rosy-cheeked in the morning, bleached bones by dusk. How so very true. I have nothing left to keep me. Shiki Taisho, my friend, you have completed your assignment magnificently. As for me, I need wait no longer. I will set out again in search of a new purpose. Then this is farewell, Harunosuke. Be safe in your travels. I remember everything. Haranosuke didn't abandon me. It was I that persuaded him. <sighs> and helped him escape the labyrinth of his heart. Haranosuke didn't abandon me. I enlightened him. I helped him to release a burden shouldered for too long. Haranosuke had great aspirations for me and the mystic Onmyo chamber. But the truth is, perhaps we were an ill-timed creation. The samurai trained tirelessly and with promising results. And yet, the strength of mortals is bound by unforgiving limits. Our progress was too slow. Even as we trained, the god with the power of the Muso no Hitotachi swept across the land with a force of diligent and mighty warriors. They removed all hidden evils from our territory. And just like that, a life's work was rendered unnecessary. No one in this world is prepared when such sorrow befalls them. can't begin to imagine how that feels, but we've definitely heard about similar cases. I was lost, dejected, and doubted everything in sight. Still, the fruits of our labor and valiant efforts cannot be denied, even if they were overshadowed. Regardless, the aim that Haranosuke and the samurai sought had been achieved. The samurai no longer needed to devote their life to training. It should have been something to celebrate. But Haranosuke was a sentimental man. His affections were rooted in mortal desire, and he couldn't bear to let go of what he had lost. To protect was our shared ambition. And if the world was the object of Haranosuke's protection, then he was the object of mine. As his most prized creation and only friend in the mystic Onmyo chamber, I tried to persuade him. He told me that he wanted to set out again in search of a new purpose, that it may take him months, years, or even centuries. 
It didn't matter to me. All I wanted was for him to achieve that aspiration and to return to this place anew. And in the endless days of waiting, I fell into a deep slumber. <sighs> Harunosuke, you're not coming back, are you? Don't be upset, Shigitasho. If Kamina Harunosuke learned the power of Adepti Arts and Transcension, isn't it possible that he became immortal? What I've come to realize is that regardless of whether he remains in this world, he shouldn't be the sole purpose of my existence. Meeting all of you helped me understand belief. I believe that Haranosuke is walking his own path now. And I believe that I too can find a path of my own. From birth, we begin to walk in solitude toward an inevitable end. But there are embers in the mist that welcome us, and friendships to be made under the night sky. Our assignment does not end because the journey is long. There was value in everything Haranosuke did, and my purpose is my assignment. That's something that will never change, nor will it be taken away from me. I am Shiki Taisho, the first Shikigami, ally of martial artists, and forevermore the overseer of the mystic Onmyo Chamber. My duty is to assist fighters in reaching ultimate attainment. There will be others in this world attempting to scale the highest peak. I will gladly become a bridge between the mountains, a weapon that carries them through the clouds. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> wow! Full memory Shiki Taisho is a force to be reckoned with! I've regained full control of the mystic Onmyo chamber. No mirror monsters will be able to escape this domain from now on. <sighs> the crisis has been averted. In a few days' time, I'll be able to secure the Charm Magic Network and restore the mystic Onmyo Chamber to its original state. This place is an ever-changing yet reliable training ground. I will continue to stand guard here and provide training for anyone seeking ultimate attainment. The Tenryo Commission must already have made preparations to enter the domain by now. Please, leave the negotiations to me. When they arrive, I will explain the matter in its entirety. So we don't have to deal with the nitty-gritty? Great! Paimon hates negotiations. My thanks to all of you. Without you, I never would have been able to regain my true self. I've prepared a gift for you. It may not be enough to repay your kindness, but I hope it will come in handy. A replica? You can call it Shikikosho. Shikikosho is different to the other replicas. No matter where you go, it can maintain communication with me. It won't be able to use Shikifuda or charm magic outside of the mystic Onmyo chamber, but it can still provide you with protection. Bringing it with you on your travels is the same as having me by your side. Shikitasho still sounds upset. Is he worried we won't meet again? All right now. No more sadness, you hear me? We ain't left just yet. Besides, thanks to the Traveler, Kujo, Sara, and Beto, getting over to Inazuma just got a whole lot easier. I might just have to start paying you a regular visit. Miss Shinyan, wouldn't that take up too much of your time? Well, let me ask you a question. What do you think of rock and roll? Rock and roll? To me, it's wonderful music. <laughs> then that's good enough for me. I only ever perform for people that can appreciate it anyway. Speaking of which, 
Prepare your ears, y'all. It's about to get louder. Huh? You're gonna perform right now? can dance, right? Let's get him to... Huh? Where'd he go? Hey, Tartaglia! Where do you think you're going? Trying to sneak off on us, huh? Sneak off? I'm just looking for a place to put my feet up and muse for a while is all. Traveler, it's time I told you about my investigations. Still sharp as always. I do sometimes wonder if you can read minds. I had a lot of fun here. In fact, I really like Inazuma. As long as I don't dwell on minor problems and the trouble they cause. I originally came to this domain because I thought that it might have something to do with the Balladeer. As it turns out, he's not here. Scaramouche is in possession of a certain Gnosis, and we happen to have lost contact with him. I don't suppose it's a coincidence. Of course, it didn't surprise me in the slightest that Scaramouche would do something like this. My agenda as a Harbinger is to seek out combat, and nearly every Fatui Harbinger has an agenda of their own, too. I'll let the Gnosis run for a while longer. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before you discover its whereabouts. When that time comes, Traveler, what will you choose to do? And where is your final destination? I wish I could stay here a while longer. The more time you spend somewhere, the more joy it brings you when you return. You're like the stars in the night sky, comrade. You never cease to surprise me. Your music brings out a different feeling in me, now that my state of mind has changed. Miss Xinyan, thank you for helping me to understand the magnitude and depth of music. I will never forget our friendship. Oh, shucks. The next time we meet, I'll have even more rock and roll for you to feast your ears on. Your music brings out Miss Shinya. Oh, sh- 